I'm working on this 1961 wheel horse model 401 in the last video I got the toolbox fenders and seat all cleaned up and mounted This time I'm going to clean up the hood, fuel tank, and control cables. This throttle cable is locked up. The choke cable's not stuck, but it's hard to move, so I'll have to look into that. Everything else is in really nice shape. This rear fuel tank strap looks like it's totally intact. That's pretty unusual. Even the mounting slot's pretty good. It has a small tear on one edge and it's deformed a bit from the bolt. I'm not going to weld on that, just going to straighten it back out. First I'll remove the cables. This whole thing is turning, not just the nut. Oh yeah, I forgot this outside ring is a nut too. That would be okay if I could get this knob off. The knob's just turning, and I don't see a set screw. So it probably just snaps on. Okay, I don't want to remove the knob. I'm going to put this back together and work on that big nut. Now I want to hold on to this threaded body while I turn the nut. It has a flat on one side, but not the other side. It's made of aluminum, and you don't want to tear up the threads, so I'm going to use a piece of wood on the other side so I can clamp on it. I don't have enough leverage yet. I'm going to readjust the pliers so I can grip them better. And I'm going to get a real wrench so it will fit in there better. Well that worked. Once I got it broke loose it came right off. I need to get this cable mount off and that'll be it. Now that I have a procedure, this second one should go a lot easier. This plug should push right out of there. That's in good shape. This switch is really clean. It looks like it might have been replaced, but I think it's the right type.
Next, I'm going to get this fuel tank out of here. This is really nice under here. Those welds are all good. This just needs cleaned up and put back together. I need to stay away from those straps with this thing. This is what one of those brushes looks like when it's new. I have to keep some new ones around for situations like this. This is my trusty hood stand made from some scrap wood. And this is my trusty sandbag. It'll hold the hood down for me. I'm going to use this big brush around these decals. You have to remember which way the brush rotates and always have the bristles moving away from the decal. If you go the wrong way, the bristles will get under the decal and tear it up. So that's pretty critical there not to make a mistake.
Well, that's almost what it's going to look like. After a few weeks, it won't be that shiny and it should look pretty good. I'm going to clean the inside of the tank. I forgot to do that before I sprayed it down. I have a light connected to a battery here so I can show what's in there. It's in good shape. You can see some dirt and rust around the bottom. And you can see how much gas it had in it when it was parked. First, I'm going to make sure this valve is shut off. I'm going to put in some square nuts because they have some nice corners on them. And some woodruff keys. Not as many corners, but still good. Then I add some gas and shake it all around, mostly concentrating on the bottom of the inside. The gas is brown now. That looks better. You can still see the stain where the gas was in there, but all the chunks are gone now. I'm going to use it. I want to clean out this fuel bowl to get any crud out that I flushed in there. There's a few big chunks, but not too bad. Well, I need to open it up before I can blow through it.
That all looks okay. The screen looks perfectly clean, so I'm going to put that back in there. The gasket looks pretty good, but I see one crack that goes less than halfway through. I'm going to try it, and if it leaks, I'll have to fix it. So the bowl's the only thing that needs cleaned. This shutoff valve feels a little loose, so I'm going to tighten the packing nut just a little bit. I tighten it until I feel a little bit of resistance when I turn the valve. I'm ready to put the tank in the hood. I have the hood raised up a little so the filler cap won't hit the table. Before I get the straps tight, I want to move the tank around to get the cap centered in the hole. This kill switch looks like it was replaced recently with an original style. It has a legend plate on it, so I need to get that lined up the right way. Then this plug should pop right into that hole there. I'm going to put the hood on the tractor to see how that looks. First I need to get the steering shaft out. The camera died before I got that done, so I'm ready to put the hood on. I want to put these collars on the same way they came off. I'm still going to use a dowel pin instead of the roll pin because I'm probably going to take it apart again. This pin's not going through the gear all the way. I'm going to take it back off and rotate it 180 degrees. Okay, the pin went in there that time. One of them holes must be a little off-center. I 
I'm going to adjust the lower set screw collar the same way I did in my last video, but the camera angle's not as good this time. First I feel under there and make sure the shaft is resting on the lower gear. Then with my thumb holding the collar down, I raise the shaft slightly and tighten the set screw. After that you should be able to move the steering wheel freely throughout its travel. Then you can raise the upper collar and tighten it in place. I'm looking at where the steering shaft comes out of the hood. You can see there's a big gap at the top and a little gap at the bottom. The hood and steering shaft are supported by a part like this old beat up one. The steering shaft is supported pretty good, but the hood is supported by these thinner outside parts. So to fix this hole position, I'm going to bend the outer parts a little bit so the hood lines up with the steering shaft. I try to fix half the problem on the first side, so the second side needs to be moved about the same amount. That's pretty good there, even though the hole's a little egg shaped at the top. There's some grease on there I need to wipe off. That looks pretty good. Wait, I want to adjust it a little bit. Okay, now I'm done. Probably. Well, that's as far as I'm going this time, and here's what it looks like. I thought I'd get to the control cables, but that didn't work out. So next time I might start with those, or I might start looking at the engine. Alright, that's it.